Florida Nurses Week, a time to thank nurses for all they do. But advocates say it's more than just that and are using this time to push for better working conditions and amid this staffing shortage. Taylor Tasha reports. Many nurses are retiring. Many more are leaving for other jobs. But who are we replacing them with? That's where the Pennsylvania Nurses Middle College Charter School comes into play. It's currently under development, but would be open to students in Dauphin County. Starting students in ninth grade to begin the process of going into the practice, into the profession of nursing by doing that with a unique curriculum that is specifically geared towards nursing. Betsy Snook, the school's founder and CEO, worries the mass exodus will discourage new nurses. And we have to address it right now in order to be able to be prepared in the future. In January, Pennsylvania passed a bill to distribute $100 million to acute care hospitals on a per bed basis, and even more to hospitals in rural and poor areas. But is money the answer? Wayne is, Reich, CEO of stop, Pennsylvania State Nurses um, Association, nurses says working bed, conditions the need to get better. With COVID, and even before COVID, the conditions at the bedside have gotten worse. The number of registered nurses practicing at the bedside has decreased because of burnout. Uh, stresses, decreased staffing. PSNA echoes its call for lawmakers to pass the Patient Safety Act. It would limit the number of patients a nurse can be assigned depending on the level of care required. Sure the Hospital and Health Systems Association of Pennsylvania is against it, saying hospitals are full and there are too many open positions to make that work and wants to see the right incentives and resources offered. And that could be things focused on something with that salary or um, removing barriers for clinical license to make sure that if somebody wants to come in from out of state that it's an easy process and there's no delays to something like that. The Patient Safety Act is awaiting a vote in the House Health Committee. Sponsor of the bill, Representative Tom Mahaffey, sent a letter to House Democratic Leader Joanna McClinton asking for a floor vote. In the newsroom, Taylor Tasha, ABC 27 News.